Hey YouTube, how you all doing? I just purchased this Action Tech MOCA adapter and the reason why I purchased it because I wanted to get rid of my uh, Fios router that I'm paying 12 bucks, I think 12 bucks to 20 bucks a month. So it's time to get rid of it, right? It's actually unplugged, working perfect. Let me show you how I did it. Hang tight. One of my packages came in, and uh, this is actually a MOCA, MOCA adapter. And the purpose of this equipment is to, for me, to return my expensive uh, Verizon router uh, because all of the, uh, what do you call that, Fios 1 um, cable box for your TV, they run on coax. Right there, your coax in and Ethernet 1 and 2. Power adapter. And if you want it upright or on its side, use that. But I'm going to leave it exactly like this. Here's my network rack in my basement. And this is the uh, Verizon Fios um, router that I was talking about. Let me go ahead and uh, unplug that. But before I do that, I want to show you that you're going to be taking this coax off this right take off the coax off this router this Fios router and plug it in to your uh, new MOCA uh, adapter which is this one right here let's power this down unplug it here's the mocha MOCA coax from your old router uh, on your own router right let's boot it up there it is okay the MOCA appears to be all up here it is it's disconnected let's go ahead and reboot it uh, and if you have the main cable box reboot it as well that's the first one you need to reboot. You have a DVR, no, reboot it first. Your main cable box, just unplugged it. All right, let that thing boot up. And now let's do the same thing for the uh, Fios One boxes. Okay, I just rebooted it. And let's see. All right, still booting up Fios router, completely unplugged. Here's my system information with that MOCA that I purchased. Take a look, network status online. Everything worked. Take a look at it. Mocha 168.1.167. Awesome, it worked. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe, click that notification bell. A few notes on uh, replacing your Fios router with the Action Tech. Of course, you could go that route, or you could buy a Fios uh, G1100. That's the uh, model number. Um, and uh, as long as you don't get the Frontier firmware, you're gonna be okay, right? Um, but they run you about sixty dollars and up. And I, I don't see any reason why not to buy the Action Tech. They only run you 20 bucks to tw between 20 bucks to $25. So yeah, I think it's the best way to go. This Action Tech needs to be connected to a fully functional network. As you can see, I have my own personal firewall router. It's a uh, USG Unify. Also have my cloud key and of course my uh, eight port switch. This is a uh, non-POE uh, Netgear. And yeah, if you noticed, I'm wearing my house with Plenum uh, Cat 6. So, but let me show you that this coax is actually connected to this ONT, right? And uh, I could have done a splitter right here, a coax splitter, and plugged my uh, Action Tech. But this ONT has an existing uh, connection or splitter right here. Follow this network. This coax right here this is my splitter right here so 
I just plugged in the uh, action tech there. That is it. Thanks again. Yeah.